Battlefield 1's Elite Classes cover some of the main attributes of combat within the game and then they heighten that threat against the enemy. The Sentry, in both of its forms, can just obliterate standard infantry, the Tank Hunter can take down vehicles with just a few hits, the Flame Trooper, again, can devastate infantry at close range, and the Trench Raider throws in a little bit of fun for embarrassing the enemy who let you get too close. But what about something a little bit different? We know more Elite Classes will be coming to the game, although DICE hasn't confirmed the exact number and that leaves the field open for debate. I'd like to offer up some of my own suggestions today, and one from the community as well, for future Elite classes. Now my first suggestion would be to add an Elite class that could help break up choke points and lay down suppressive fire when needed. I'd call this class Breaker. They deploy a heavy machine gun with a shield protector on it, very similar to some of the stationary machine guns on the maps that we have already, but it could only be fired when you place it down. Think of it as a movable, deployable machine gun. Breaker could set up in a specific location and almost become a distraction for the enemy team. He could lay down bullets on the enemy, as his own team perhaps go on a flanking run to try and attack a position that they've been stuck on for a while. He'd come with a secondary pistol, he could use that whilst he was moving around the map, and three smoke grenades could come with him to cloud out the enemy. The true lethal power of the Breaker class comes when he deploys that machine gun, laying down suppressive fire or breaking out of a choke point, and then he mixes that with smoke grenades, and that's to block off lines of sight for the enemy. He's more of a supportive class, as I've said, as opposed to the Flame Trooper or the VR Parosa Sentry. He takes a little bit of a backseat and he allows the rest of the team to advance on ahead of him. The machine gun would have a medium rate of fire and a 200 round box magazine with a long reload time to balance out that power. I'd have him moving around at the same sort of speed as the sentry, which is a little bit slower than standard soldiers, and as with all elite classes he gets some armour plating to protect him from incoming fire. His overall weakness would be that he is stationary for a while when he's deploying that machine gun. This gives enemies the opportunity for a nice grenade attack on him, throwing a few at him to get his health right the way down, or even going in close for a nice melee kill. So that was Breaker, and suggestion number two for a new elite class comes from a fellow Battlefield YouTuber called Art, and he's pitched the idea of a Super Scout. An elite soldier whose weapons allow him to bring down soldiers in one hit anywhere to the body, similar to how Battlefield 4 balanced the 50 cal sniper pickup. His suggestion is loosely based around the Canadian soldier Francis Pega Magabo, who during World War I was accredited with killing nearly 400 German soldiers and capturing some 300 more on the Western Front. He's still currently the most highly decorated soldier in Canadian history for bravery, and he used a Ross rifle which at the time was heavily regarded as a poor weapon choice, and he still managed to become the most effective sniper of World War I. Now if we were going to introduce some sort of super scout into Battlefield 1, then the rifle they were holding would need to be extremely powerful. Lots of players already use the Tank Hunter's weapon, the Tank Gavir, as an option for taking down infantry, but you have to use its bipod or you have to be prone to use it. The Super Scout would have access to the Ross Rifle, equipped with state-of-the-art rounds that penetrate and then disintegrate on impact, inflicting massive shrapnel damage on the enemy who took the bullet. That way I feel you could justify a one-hit kill in Battlefield 1. Of course, he's so powerful that we need to offer some kind of limit here, so I'd suggest he'd only come with two clips of five rounds for the Ross Rifle, and the bullets could only be replenished one by one from an ammo crate. This means he couldn't just camp away for ages at the edge of the map, he'd have to come back into the battle to resupply. 
He'd also come with a pair of binoculars for spotting and calling in artillery strikes. Think of the mortar strike gadget from Bad Company 2 and you're pretty much on target there. These strikes would be on a cooldown, of course. You can't just have one person raining down terror for the entire round. And add to that some World War I sniper camouflage, and I think you'd have an elite class whose sole purpose would be on reconnaissance and long-range damage potential. I think this could be an awesome class for some of the more open maps in Battlefield 1. A massive thanks to Art for letting me feature his idea. His channel is linked below. Make sure you go and check his channel out. Moving on from the Super Scout then, which was essentially our long range suggestion for an Elite class, we're going to look at something that's more like an area of effect Elite class. We're going to focus on the infamous gas attacks of World War I. Now the British Army used something called the Livens Projector. This was used to fire off gas shells towards the German lines. Over 140,000 of them were made and they fired around 400,000 bombs throughout the war they could fire both gas and flammable oil bombs that would then fill the air either with deadly phosgene gas or cover the ground and potentially the enemy in burning hot oil. In Battlefield 1, the projector, as I'd call the elite class, could have the Livens projector as a secondary weapon which could be deployed much like a mortar and it would fire three rounds of either gas or flammable oil into the air and land them in the location that the player chose. This would cause all enemy players within that area of effect to either have to put on their gas masks and resort to hip fire tactics which massively reduces the engagement ranges there or they'd have to try and take cover and not die from the fire that has just decimated the ground that they're standing on. Now of course the fire or the gas would cover a much larger area than the standard gas and incendiary grenades that we have in the game already. I'm thinking that the gas could cover a 50 meter radius ensuring that all players for a fair distance would be subject to putting on their gas mask and as I said that would massively change the gameplay and the flammable oil rounds would have a smaller 30 meter radius because of course infantry soldiers have to run on the ground. It would be a little bit unfair to make that like a 100 meter radius because everyone would just die instantly. The impact that this would have on the gameplay in certain areas I feel would just make it even more chaotic. Imagine a flag capture point on Conquest or Operations where the team had been struggling to take it, the projector could come along, sit about 50 meters away and fire this projector up into the air and land it on the objective and turn it into just a gas zone or a fire zone for the enemy team. Suddenly the friendly team can all move up into that gas with their gas masks on and fight all the players that are sitting in there and potentially take the flag that they've been stuck on for a while. If the fire's gonna go in there, then that's a little bit of a point of contention. Currently, you can run through friendly fire in Battlefield 1 and I feel that would have to be the same for this elite class. That would seem a little bit unfair on the enemy team who then cannot go in that 30 meter radius. So potentially, we could take out the fire bombs and just make it surrounding the gas bombs of World War 1. Perhaps that would be something a little bit better. But overall, I think this sounds really, really cool. Just as a concept, the Livens projector would have a cooldown on its activation just the same way as the mortar strike would for the super scout and the bombs would need to be replenished from an ammo crate. You could only fire two rounds from the Livens projector before you'd need to go and reload and that would limit its effectiveness. Now, as I've just alluded to in my explanation of the projector, I changed my mind mid-commentary about having fire available to that elite class. These suggestions, they are no way fully-fledged pitches of potential elite classes, and I'd really like to get your thoughts and opinions down in the comments section. I'm totally open to your ideas of how these potential elite classes could be improved or tweaked. Two of them are focused on support play, I'd say, Projector and Breaker, and the other one is focused on Reconnaissance and High Damage. That's the Super Scout. I really like the idea of Projector, simply because of the carnage he'd be able to cause with a well-placed set of bombs, and the Super Scout for potentially bringing some more player-controlled artillery into Battlefield 1. 
At the moment, you can activate it in Rush with the Telegraph Posts and in War Pigeons for releasing a pigeon, but both of those methods simply activate artillery on spotted enemies. It's not 100% accurate. The Super Scout would have full control of the area that those shells would hit. But let me know what you think of these suggestions down below and leave some of your own ideas. And perhaps we could follow this video up with another, highlighting some cool community suggestions. But until next time, my name is Westy, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.